Hey folks, this is Dan from danwagner.com. Today I want to talk about using Twitter for business and how to be successful at it. Now, if you're using Twitter for personal reasons, whether it's you know to communicate with your friends or your family or to keep people updated on you know the uh, growth of your puppy or you know how cute your kids are, which is all fantastic. Believe me, those are great uh, reasons to Twitter. But if you want to take it to the next step, if you want to do something different, if you want to use Twitter to bring in new customers, to impress the customers that you have, to uh, show your product offering to the world, then this is the video for you. Okay, folks, let's go ahead and dive right in and identify the two most important things to do for using Twitter for business, or Twitter for any purposes for that matter, is that you need to get followers you need to get people following you and the second thing you need to do is you need to create timely and informative posts okay so let's talk about followers first there's tons of ways to get followers if you hand out a lot of business cards you can put your twitter address at the bottom of that if you got a popular blog you can obviously uh, use that if you uh, you can use uh, pay-per-click Google AdWords. Go ahead and uh, send people to your Twitter page and have them sign up if you want to do that. Um, anywhere that you get traffic, you can use that to send people to your Twitter page. You can also use it if you do a lot of offline things, like I said, the business cards, or you have a radio show, or a TV show, or maybe use a community access television or something. No matter what you do, if you speak a lot, you're a public speaker. If you are writing a book or news articles, go ahead and add your Twitter address to the bottom of each of those. So that's one way to do it. The way most people do it, though, is simply by following people who you think might be interested in following you. And how do you do that? Well, you can go into Twitter, go to the bottom of the page, and you can uh, do a search. Search for people that are posting tweets about what you're interested in or asking questions about it. Um, you can also do searches on geographic areas. So maybe you're a realtor in Atlanta and you want to find all the people in Atlanta that are have any interest in mortgages or interest rates or uh, house buying or shopping or whatever um, go ahead and do a search on that so that's one way to do it and then just follow people um, you will, will run up against your 2000 follower limit but this is what I've discovered is that for every four people that you follow you're going to get one to follow you. So what you need to do is uh, work that to your advantage. Okay, and I'm going to tell you a way to find out a little bit more about that, and a way to speed up that process and to do it in an autopilot kind of way. The second thing that we're we're going to talk about is how to have timely and informative tweets. Uh, basically, if you want to be an expert, what you need to do is you need to deliver information before anybody else does about a change in the market, about a news item, about what someone else thought was important to Twitter about. And uh, you do that by staying informed. The way you can stay informed is by following the news, about following uh, various experts in the field. Well, again, we don't want to consume all our time on Twitter so what I've also created is a way to put that piece on autopilot okay but if you don't want to do my, my autopilot tool know that these are the things you need to do and if you want to organically grow your Twitter following these are what you need to do and so stay abreast of it there's plenty of ways to do that um, you can use Google alerts to alert you of news items in your arena and once you get that alert go ahead and post that immediately uh, to your Twitter account okay and likewise um, find all the people that you can that might be interested in following you and go ahead and follow them so that's really the key to growing your Twitter following again find people to follow you and make sure your tweets are informative and timely what I've done for those two things I've created a webinar I call it my Twitter for Business webinar. If you want to find out more about it, there should be a link at the bottom of this page. If there's not, go to danwaiter.com 
and uh, find this post, this video. There should be a link around there about Twitter. Uh, you can go to danwainer.com slash Twitter, and there should be some information there about it. Hey, thanks for watching. Have a great day. This is Dan from danwainer.com. Thanks a lot. Bye.